are back this morning with another broadcast of Let's Look at This. Today's show is brought to you by Wakana, Wakana for Life. Keep that same energy. Get your Wakana defense mechanisms for this time and of a what we would call a pandemic. Get your health products there. Keep you afloat. Keep you uh, even outside of that. Get your your wellness as far as health, as far as your um, looks, um, detoxing skin products, um, pain products. What kind of for life? Keep that same energy. All right. Glad to be back on this wonderful Saturday. This morning to get things rolling, get things started. I am your host, Dr. K, with my co-host, Minister P. Good morning. Good morning, everybody. This is Minister P, of course, bringing you peace and reality, doing good in the neighborhood. All right. You know, it's been a brisk and cold uh, <laughs> couple of weeks. <laughs> you know, we had a good November or December of last year, but then January kicked in and... Uh, you know, I, I, I get a little antsy and frustrated <laughs> with this weather at times and, and agitated. <laughs> you know, it's just, even though being in a cold climate for all of my life, um, yeah, you just get tired of it at some point, <laughs> you know. Um, which, you know, brings us to our topic. When I mean, you get tired of something and, and your mind is wondering, um, through in and out of society and through in and out of uh, your everyday life movement. Um, what is my purpose is, is the key thing. What is my purpose for being in society? Moreover, being born into the world. Uh, you know, I look at, it was just something that came to mind, something that's been on my mind of asking the question, what is my purpose? And then moreover, when I look outside of myself, what is the community that I'm a part of and culture will be what is, and I should say, and or our purpose, what's my purpose and or our purpose in this society? And how do we look at, uh, ourselves and what is, what is the, the aspect of what we're doing in life uh, you know there's the elements of life right we live which is a meaningful purposes purpose of what we're doing we the number one thing is to live and in the middle of that what no one wants to talk about is the middle purpose of that which can aligned to do to to be connected to two to two different things excuse me mm -hmm. uh, that will be kill or death or if you want to call it to die um, thing is how do you how are you killed and how do you die because of course overall we we are put on earth to live and then we go to those through those two paths of what path of if will I be killed or will I die? But the overall topic of that would be what is my purpose before either of those two things happen? Not saying that we want anyone to be killed in the sense of the human aspect, but we know those things happen at, at all times. Most people are either not saying afraid to talk about it, but it becomes a challenging subject for most people. That's just right, speaking of. Uh, to be killed or to die or to have some form of death. So, Minister P, I, um, we can bounce back and forth with, between this subject as reference to what is our purpose? What is our purpose? Um, just an overall aspect of me being a human. Let's just look at that for, for a second. What is my purpose of being a human? What is my overall, and if I look at myself in a, in a reflection of myself, whether it be water or a mirror, what is my purpose? You're looking into the mirror and saying, what is my purpose in life? 
outside of everything that I'm doing, currently doing, what is my purpose overall? I look at myself and, and giving a skin tone color, now it starts to have meaning of what my purpose is pointed to and derived to. And, you know, I was listening to a particular brother that made a statement with reference to saying that everyone has a prejudice. And of course, that prejudice leads to me liking something or disliking something. That could be, hey, well, I don't like the style of that car, color, or I don't like the hat. Mr. P, uh, that's an okay hat. It's not to my taste, but I don't like the color. You know, I can say that, right? right, right. Even though it's a nice yeah. hat, don't get me wrong. Yeah. Nice thank hat. You uh, <laughs> thank you very much. Thank you very much, sir. Yeah. Uh, listen, uh, so I want, I want to address, first of all, I want to greet our, our viewers and all of our listeners, the brothers and sisters and friends who are tuning in to this great show, Let's Look at This, hosted by Dr. K, where it brings us an urban look at our uh, society here and the issues that we do face. Uh, this is a great topic. What is my purpose? This is great. I mean, everyone has to stand up in the mirror and look at themselves and ask this question, what is my purpose? And you listen, you better have an answer because uh, time waits for no one. We cannot afford to waste time. <laughs> you know, time waits for no one. And so the, you brought up two, two, two issues, life and death. And so to live, to live, to live. And so to live, uh, we all are living right now. Everyone that is, is not dead is living right now. But you have to ask yourself how to live the life that we have. What do we do in between uh, the life and death processes? Now, hopefully all of us will go through the normal life and death processes. You know, there's life and then there's the, the natural death that we, that we all are going to occur. But in between, we're asked the question, what is our purpose? What are we doing here? Well, our purpose and in, 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 in all of us here on this earth, in this uh, human race, we have one thing, and that is to be productive in our society, productive in our culture. Uh, I always like to say this. Uh, the Bible says, let your light or your life shine before men that they may see your good works and it will glorify the Father in heaven. So we are down here to perform good works, Dr. K. And that's it, and become productive in our society, in our community, in our homes. Um, we should live a life of productivity. And that's true. Um, that is the perfect point of productivity, um, looking for, as they, uh, one brother called it, older, elder brother, uh, he calls it the CR. What's the CR? <laughs> constructive results. That's the overall okay. goal, to have constructive yeah. results. Uh, that is uh, our dear brother, who is a elder, um, uh, Nelly Fuller who have um, stated that oh, so many times over the years to have the constructive results. So what are our constructive results in society? As you state, yes, we want to have positive uh, enforcement of, of things, but then let's, let's step outside the lane. Let's go to the left, as they say, which left meaning is supposed to be bad, right? So what is the bad, as they call it, being bad? Or is that survival? Now, survival can be as, as reference to being a bad as reference to survival and can mean some good into survival. So now we talk about the aspect of the kill and death. Now, is that bad? Or is it based on survival? See how you connect the dots between the two? So now I know I'm here to live. And I know I, at some point I have to die, but dying by how, how, how am I going to die? Will I die a peaceful and of old age and just have lived a good life, as they say, or will I die of being of old age and die a bad and die a bad? 
So in, in that aspect, what is my purpose is reference to how I am to live and die or be killed. Then we, I, I look at it, I try to equate this to nature. Dr. Uh, Minister P. So if we look at nature, nature has its good and bad, right? So if we go into the, what they call the Serengeti and we're, and we're watching and, and we're looking at the aspect of nature roam the safari and us, the Serengeti. And we're looking at, well, man, this, this, let's just use the lion, for example. So this lion had to do some bad, as they would call it, to survive. Or was it some good? You know, have the old, oh, wow, it was bad that he killed that ox. Or was it bad that he attacked that, you know, <laughs> a kangaroo or some other form of an animal or a, a wildebeest? It was that was, was that bad or was that a point of survival? And then what alluded to this ox or this yak or whatever you want to call it, whatever, whatever crossed this path. What and his, what was his purpose? What was this ox purpose? And what was this lion purpose? And then when I try to equate the two as reference to me being in nature, it's like, do I mimic what's in nature? Because I'm a part of nature. I mean, as a tree grows, shouldn't I grow? As a tree die, don't I die? So we looking at the bouncing back and forth between what is my purpose of being a human, as they would call a us as a uh, being mammal or being uh, a part of the human aspect of man and what they call woman. What is my overall purpose as reference to my culture, myself, and how do I deal in society? Which correlates into what we were talking about last week as far as uh, the temperature and checking our mental state. And where is our mental state as reference to how we operate in society and asking ourselves, well, what is my purpose here in society? If somebody's telling me something or telling me what to do, then somebody else has the purpose for me. I don't know my own purpose then. That would mean there's, there's no point in me getting up in the morning, looking into the mirror and looking at myself because somebody has a purpose for me themselves they have something but, for me to do for them but, but here it is that whose fault is that i mean we, we cannot let <laughs> others dictate <laughs> what our life calling is each right. and every one of us know our, our, our life calling so to uh subjugate ourselves to uh, the renegades of somebody dictating our lifestyle mm -hmm. and our life purpose then that's a mistake but going back to your analogy of, of nature which is a great analogy uh I, I came up loving nature you know my mother used to just we used to just sit and watch national Ge geographics and all of that man and it was just really 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 nice and 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 but the thing is in nature it is the battle of the fitness i mean it, it, it's kill and be killed uh that's exactly it because that ox now becomes the food or becomes the prey for the lion, uh, mm -hmm. uh, the lion becomes, uh, and this does happen, a uh, food for the hyenas. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, a group of hyenas will kill a lion, you know, and, and so all, everybody becomes a food chain because they operate on a primate level. And they- oh, stay they right there. Stay right there for one second, Mr. Yeah. Keep hold that thought. So now if everybody's praying, or every animal, we'll say animal, right? In animal. reference to what we're speaking of, nature. We're talking about animals. So now let's look, let's flip this to coin for a second. Stay right where you are. <laughs> just to, I just want to interject real quick. Mm -hmm. The survival of the fittest, you brought you said that. Mm -hmm. So where does that put us? Are we being hunted in this society? If there's a point of survival of the fittest, where do we fit in? Is the question. Okay, well, here it is. No, we're not being hunted, but we definitely are being persecuted. See, in, 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 in nature, they actually hunt for their food and hunt for their prey uh, because it is survival. Because they can't go to stores and get food. <laughs> so their food is out there running around with the horns on it. And so That's true. They, but they, 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 here's my question. So are we being hunted in a different way? No, we're not being hunted. We're being persecuted. See, hunt means to go out there and look for. They know where we are. 
They do. <laughs> There's absolutely no, no, no secrets. They know where we are. They know where we are by location of physical. But when we look in the mirror, yeah, they, they don't know <laughs> what we're thinking. And that's <laughs> our power. Dr. K, that's it. That's it, man. That's, that's our power. See, that's what this show and other shows like it brings to the table. See, we're here to edify, empower, and encourage our brothers and sisters, our listeners, and our friends to become mentally strong. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's it. Yeah. You know, so that, that we can survive the onslaught of what's around us. Right. So so we don't be, as what you say, persecuted. And what I, as what I'm thinking, yeah. <laughs> hunted. <laughs> You know, in a different form, of course. Not that we're in a way. Not we'll say not necessarily that we're in the safari or Serengeti, but if you was to as a as a video game, or if we were in a movie, and you would flip the screen and put up a, a green screen in yeah. reference to being in a city, urban life, and put that as a Serengeti, <laughs> you would almost perceive it you being hunted <laughs> you know so um it's just something to think about i know it seems a little stretched as far as the imagination uh, but <laughs> you know it can easily be misconstrued as that um if somebody's looking at it in that manner um you know you you look at uh you know i have elephant statues in my home and that elephant, the male elephant in itself, as far as you're talking about protection and knowing who itself is, the male elephant is very territorial as any other animal, but more is over being that size of a mammal and walking on ground. That mm. ele male elephant is very territorial. Yeah. I mean, he would kill, he would tear down a building if he had to, to protect yeah. What it is, I mean, if you watch, if you really pay attention to some of these, uh, you know, animal geographic shows and, 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 and even study some of the footage of the male elephant, uh, they don't play around. Absolutely, man. Absolutely. They don't mess around. That's so, why when, when they walk, man, everything, every other animal moves out of the way. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Especially when there's a when there's a point of, um, you know, let's say a pack of lions uh, looking to or even hyenas looking to uh, infringe on one of their offspr offsprings or one of their cultural beings. Um, yeah, they they would they definitely would move and, and get out the way at that point, because um, the, the instinct of the other animals know that they can be killed instantly. So, I, you know, I, I look at us as reference that's why i asked the question say well i'm here in myself let me ask my and, and look at myself in the mirror and say what is my purpose you know i even ask myself that i you know i don't i don't try to infringe that on everyone else i have to ask myself first what is my purpose then if i figure out and get to a point of what my purpose is i can look at someone else and say hey well this is a strive on what i'm looking at and how i look on what I perceive my purpose as being on this earth. Even though there's two points of, you got persecution, or we could say hunting. Somebody could be hunting me, and I may not know of it, that the hunt, me being hunted. I may not know that I'm being hunted. Or even some of us even don't know we're being persecuted. But we clearly can see that. Look out to today's society, especially when you're looking at a source of news media, it tends to guide you in a direction and you forget about what's your purpose. You would forget if you pay attention to media too much and listen to what they're telling you to do. Media is supposed to, we'll just say news media is supposed to be a point of information. All they're doing is giving you out information to what they're supposed to be doing. But now they've gotten into the avenue of telling you what to do. So now you're losing your point of purpose. They're telling you how to vote, telling you what to put on when it's cold outside, uh, the weather bundle up. They'll say that, which is, I mean, overall innately, okay, okay, thanks for the gesture. But you don't have to bundle up if you don't want to. They may not even know your circumstance. You, you just need a light jacket because you're going to be in and out in the car and right back inside. So they just tell you to bundle up just innately just to be, uh, as they call it, quote, unquote, being courteous. 
Um, but overall, um, when you get back to the point, they're telling you based on what you need to be doing in life. Um, instead of you looking into a mirror and asking, what is my purpose for myself? What should I be doing to contribute? Not, not even to society. One, to myself first. Two, to the culture or ethnicity that they call me to be a part of. I should be trying to thrive through something to make things greater because we already have an, un, uh, an unrest amongst us. So we don't need more unrest amongst us. We need, in reference to what we're about on this show, creating solutions and becoming problem solvers. Uh, that's the whole purpose on to, you know, most people never got involved in liking mathematics because it, it led to problem solving. And most of you, when they come across problems, <laughs> We, 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 we talked about that before, Minister P. They get into these cliches. No, oh, it is what it is. Right. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's, that's becoming a, to me, that, and you know, that came up. That's what it is. Yeah, that's been coming everything up a lot. Everything is everything. Yeah, that, that, yeah, we, that's, you know, that's coming up a lot. I, 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 <laughs> it's like we talked about it, and now it's coming to pass that, that somebody, one, either saying, well, you're saying that more often, or two, somebody has come along and said, hey, that's a dangerous statement to make. Because then that's thing when you say what it is, what it is, that means you say any problem that I face, well, I can't do nothing about it because I have one either got lack of days ago with my situation or I care not to do anything about it. That's dangerous. That's, that's very dangerous. dangerous. That's very dangerous. So that, that would equate to connect back to nature. That means to say, well, if a if I'm a yak, let's say, in, in the Serengeti, and I'm like, wow, I'm out here. And who they go to lions over there. <laughs> they, they're even thinking. They, they, this yak is not saying it is what it is. He's trying to find a way out. All right. Think about a gazelle running from a cheetah. <laughs> He's trying to find a way out of his struggle being hunted down from this cheetah. He's looking for a way out. He ain't, he ain't stopping and say, well, it is what it is. I'm just going to be eating up today. <laughs> no, he's trying to get the hell away. <laughs> and you know what? Those those are staying right here on this nature uh, mm -hmm. subject. Those are two of the fastest. You'll see how nature lover, so I gotta comment on this. Those are two of the fastest creatures in the jungle, the cheetah and the gazelle. I mean, and so for that cheetah to catch up with that gazelle who was able to leap and mm -hmm. run just as fast as that cheetah. Uh, he must be cunning, and he must use angle and, and, and cut him off and, and, and do that. Well, just a side note, uh, listeners. No, you're right. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, you key word you just said, the cunning. You know, you have to be cunning and and and, and tactful yeah. in your movement. And so that, that goes into you looking into that mirror and saying, who, who, what is my purpose and who, who am I? And what is my purpose before being killed? or to the point of death. Again, we don't use those terms in a, uh, we, we don't want to use it in a negative connotation, but we know that, hey, we, we live, we live to be, well, we live and in the middle point, we live, 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 and then you die, right? Right. That's the normal living, life Yeah, process. that's the normal life, life process. That's no different than if we look at a tree, what happens during the months? <laughs> Spring, leaves grow, they, they spawn, they come out. The winter months come around, leaves die. The grass die. They have a time span. Their time span could be over 100 years, as reference to being a tree. Of course, our time span, as we know of, is close to, could be over 100, but due to the elements in society that man has created, Instead of creating something to live, to let live longer, they created something to where it would shorten the time span of life. And not that it would be, as we say, sin, but it's just an aspect of what society has been, as they thought of, to be in society. This was something to do. This reference now, to is, is this to shorten the life for all men or certain people and certain people groups? Well, that, that's, to be, to all to be men? that's to be discussed. That's to be discussed, you know, as far as life being shortened. 
Um, question would be who, 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 what group is being targeted as far as life being short? You know, that, 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 that would be a good question. You know, that would be something to talk about on, on, on a, on a, I mean, if we wanted to talk about it now, it's something to talk about in reference to what is my purpose and then whose lifespan is being shortened. And then why? What is the purpose of my lifespan being short to where I have to be rushed to death and to get out of society? Uh, and for what purpose that you don't need me in society? Uh, that's why I look at myself and say, what was my purpose here in society? And what do I supposed to be doing to make things a little even though things won't get as better as we think they would but we sh we should be able to see some re resting points here and there mm. you know, shouldn't be on the edge 24 7 right you know <laughs> looking over my shoulder and some people move like that people to me the people that move like that like there's no problems in the world that means you don't know your purpose you think you do most people think they have, they have, they know their purpose, but they, they really don't because they, and they're moving like, oh, I'm okay. Nothing's going on. But the minute something does happen, you, you don't know what to do. You're in a panic state. And then you're asking, why is this happening to me? Because you haven't thought in the process to say, well, that's, a per that's something that could happen to me. And if it did, not saying that you're keeping that in the front of your mind, but in the back of your mind, you you have to. You, that's what that's one of the reasons why we have brains, right? I mean, to think, to say, well, what if I got into that situation? What would I do, right? What would I do if I'm in that situation? No different than somebody than, than these these different uh, nature, the animals of nature, <laughs> looking for a way out. They're thinking, what is my next move? As you say, the two fastest animals in the Serengeti is the cheetah. And the gazelle, right? right? And when one is chasing the other, he, he the, the the gazelle has to be very cunning to get away. So Absolutely. he's strategically thinking about what his next move is when he's on the run. And the cheetah is saying, "Well, I only have a span." Now the cheetah. Here's the thing about the cheetah: he has a span limit of time of how he can chase down his gazelle. Because the cheetah is like a you know, it's like one of them fast cars. You know, it, it'll get it'll get it'll get you off that yeah, right. <laughs> off the jump. <laughs> if you ain't quick, boy, it get you. Man, it'll it'll get you off that jump. And if you but that long long haul run or stride, the cheetah runs out of gas. Right. So that gazelle has to be very cunning. And I, and I look at us as that being we have to be very cunning and, and learn to go the long haul as reference to what we're doing and if you know if i'm gonna go the long haul that means i know what my purpose is i have a purpose in what i'm looking to do i'm cunning in what i'm looking to do i have a strategic plan on what i need to be accomplishing as reference to going back to what is my purpose of being in society and being a part of a cultural aspect of things and not downplaying every situation that happens. Right? There's a lot of these things we have to really play, pay close attention and not get caught up in um, you know the the dogma of, just go back to the dogma of, you know, uh, it is what it is or uh, everything is everything. You know, we can't we can't get lax like that because then as we, we mentioned it before um, that'll teach our offspring to be and think the same way and they'll think everything is okay and um, um, at the end once they run into that brick wall they you know they they don't know how to maneuver you know, they put they put it in, 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 in an unrest state and that and that can be troublesome to the mind and that leads to as what we talked about last week as far as talking about this you know it goes back into the mental health aspect of dealing with the process of how am I thinking from day to day and that should be in yourself in this time of what we're where we are we you know we should be here saying what is my purpose here and that should be driving towards uh, solutions to resolve what we're in you know we, we're not given the time to really look into the mirror and say what is my purpose or even moreover given the time to say well what should I be doing 
about this, what they call a virus. You know, the, well, the, let's, let's say this, Dr. K. I mean, we yeah. are given the time because everybody wakes up for uh, 24 hours a day, and nobody takes that time away from us. Mm -hmm. uh, but it's up to us to utilize every second of every minute of every hour uh, of the 24 hours that we get each and every day. And so, having said that, we must understand within those 24 hours, we have to be productive and precise and concise in everything that we do. We have to formulate uh, a plan right. that presents our purpose. I mean, we, listen, my, I'm going to answer this question. What is my purpose? And so my answer for uh, to that question, which we all have to answer, you, Dr. K, have to answer it as well, all of our listeners, our friends, our viewers. And, 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 and my answer to that is, Two things. I'm here to live and I'm here to give. It is, it's those two categories that we all are, uh, our lifespan is encapsulized in. And so, uh, because it's in, encapsulated in those two areas, living and giving, then how do you live? How do you live? Well, this is how Minister P lived in answering this question what is my purpose? I live a peaceful life uh, as much as possible <laughs> with, with all men. Uh, that's, that's number one. Right. Why? So that I can be productive in what? In giving uh, back to my uh, so society. Now, the, the next aspect is giving. What am I giving? Well, I'm giving, my life is, is a life that gives information education, inspiration, and motivation so that we all can become self-enlightened, that we need to unify with each other to build a better, here it is, union in our community. And that's it. it it's all about unity. So our purpose here, brothers and sisters, viewers and friends, is to, is to unify ourselves, our minds, our resources, uh, everything that we have to unify, and that's our purpose here on this earth, is this group of people that I was born into. See, I, I'm born into the uh, uh, Black American race, and so therefore I must look uh, to, to edify, empower, and encourage that race. Or else I wouldn't be a, a productive member. Am I right, Dr. K? You're absolutely correct. Um, you know, that, that, that ties in perfect on what is your purpose. Um, being, it's all about being a productive member. Uh, that, that would be one, creating a more, if we want to say a code of conduct, that's, that would be one. What is my, what, what am I bringing productive to my culture, to my society? And now again, not to self-preservate someone else and to have them look upon and say, oh, even though most people will study, oh, matter of fact, we actually the most studied on the planet, <laughs> you know, being a part of the black race, we're the most studied. So being the most studied, and if that's in history of us being the most studied, then how am I perceiving myself? If, if everybody's studying me and not, I'm saying I'm looking to be to go out and say, well, I gotta, I gotta do a one upsmanship on what I did today. So people that study me, they get a better look at me. Uh, and, and oh, oh look, what he, look what he's doing today. No, that on this is for my, my own self preservation on, on how I'm doing and how I'm being productive in society. That way I can, when I have, when I do step out of doing that, that soldiering or or marching along when it's when it is my time to die and I, and I come upon that time then I can look back on societal aspects of looking into my culture to say hey I have left a mark I have left for put forth a legacy that someone can buy into even uh, again, being a part of who I am, being a part of the cultural aspect of my culture, my ethnicity, my group, they can look at me to say, "Hey, that that is a mark that's left behind that I can follow." 
that I can that is held to high esteem. The bar is raised up, and you know, he, in, in 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 instances of when it was the CR constructive results, mm-hmm. they can say that hey, he it's what the epitome of what is my purpose. He shows me what my purpose is about. Right. And I can so, then, I, if I can, t- if to add on that, I can look in the mirror and say, hey, I can take this, what's been left behind and what I've saw, and I can add to what my purpose is. Go ahead, Mr. I mean, I mean that, that's, that's great, man. I mean, so, so you're saying that your purpose um, is to also what? In, enlighten? Oh, as well. I mean that that's basically what they're yeah. saying without you know without using the word enlightenment that you is right on point it's the same structure same structure so definitely to that's to, to enlighten and to enlighten means to educate come on now that's that it. those are those go those go hand in hand uh, if, we, if we're not educating each other then what are we doing what 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 is my purpose structure if I can't educate someone and to do well in the aspect of life that we see today um even though we strive, all strive to be as perfect to society as far as this classism goes, we all strive to be to the point of being well off, as they call it, or we say rich, but well off. We all strive that. That way we have more of a comfort zone to do things that we would like to do in society. Uh, yeah, you know, there's no, I don't play, I don't play more against of being rich as a negative you know that's that you can be rich in, in anything rich in, in knowledge rich in but i mean as far as financial wise being rich you know of course it, it gives having that mindset of what is my purpose and then being financially rich then you're allowed to help someone that you see of your own kind even someone not of your kind that may need some form of help you're able to do better in helping them that individual Oh, but I but I but I still play into helping myself and my culture and my people first first because we need Man. the most help in the room <laughs> it, it, it has to be that and I like the word that you use which is education and and, and and so there are two forms of education we know that there is the uh, academic education right which uh, some people have got doctor degrees Dr. Jay. <laughs> <laughs> And and so then there is the experiential uh, education that that that's practical that that we can live by that we can apply that we can use on a daily level and that's what what this show and other shows like it and other people like us give out because that's the that's the education that we need that we can use on a day to day basis I mean use it right here like when I'm talking to my younger brothers and my younger sisters listen. Let, let's let's do this. This is the format. Oh, step one, step two, step three, get you to step four. Mm-hmm. And, and and so a lot of us learn go by by that type of a sequence. Step one, step two, step three, get you to step four. Our goal is to get us as a people to step four. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so yeah. we must learn what step one, two, and three. All uh, it is is all about, and we if we don't have people like us informing our brothers and sisters, our viewers and friends, um, what we must do. See, listen. How would you ever know what to do if you was never told what to do? Right. <laughs> See, and so that's why we uh, here, even uh, me at in my age, uh, sixty four years old, I have accumulated enough wisdom now, Dr. K that I can give, and, and, and I do give, to brothers and sisters uh, to, to get to step four. Do this, do that, do that. Well, how do you know that, Minister P? Because I lived it. Yep. I'm older than you. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, I mean, you know, like you say, the, the being having that wisdom and being older, of course, the, the elders may have that knowledge point, and the, the younger generation see it and they say, well, they just have a new way of you doing things faster yeah. because they have technology behind them. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that's that's the key thing with, yeah. with our younger generation. Uh, they may not perceive it as we're showing it, but they say, well, it, once they really analyze and study what you're doing, Minister P or mm-hmm. you and I, then they can say, oh, 
oh no we do it this way now i just figured yeah. it out it's the same thing but we do it faster this way yeah it, it's the same you thing know, <laughs> right it's the same thing overall but it just they just have technology uh to to move things a little bit faster to get things but you gotta across. have that foundation though you do you, you do have, have to have that foundation, foundation. that's Earth. what most people are missing um that, that's what i was saying is referencing when you have a home first thing that goes in is what <laughs> foundation when you're building yeah. you the first thing is the foundation if you don't have a foundation my building house, house is gonna fall. yeah it's gonna fall <laughs> <laughs> you might as well put it on water <laughs> and let it float away <laughs> even a, even a, even a uh a, 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 a boathouse has a foundation you know it sits on so it doesn't crumble apart um, but yeah that that foundation is very key to, to, to our aspect of life. And it gives you the aspect of what is my purpose, having that foundation. You know, see how we alluded to that? You know, it's like, it's like we're going through a maze and putting a puzzle together and we lead into these analogies of words that's giving us that puzzle to give us that perfect picture. And that's, ladies and gentlemen, that's what it's about. You know, it's just it's about having a puzzle with you had all these mixed up mixed up pieces and we have one little part that's together and it's about formulating and putting this puzzle back together that has been dismantled over time and it, and it has taken us away from looking at ourselves and asking uh, the question as you see across the screen saying what is my purpose what is my purpose people who are listening out there and hearing us on out on our radio wktsc radio you're asking yourself and if you're able to view us on our channel wktsc tv on youtube you've got to ask yourself and you see that what is my purpose in this time what do i have to offer to my culture mainly what do I have to add to my culture and how can I proceed to pull my culture up out of this rut? Even, even in the time of this pandemic, we still have to be, we can't get lackadaisical because to me, to me now, I'm gonna say it again, to me, in my personal opinion, we have been, to me, we have been placed uh, and strategically placed. And this is the perfect time because even though we are striving, they have strived to, places apart and giving us this social, social distancing that doesn't mean that we can't correlate and communicate other ways to stay together and formulate a plan and to ask once we come together as a group if there is a group to formulate whether it be small or large and i told you before and this show and this broadcast is not about gaining popularity and how many views can i get if you view me great if you thumbs up, thank you. If you leave a comment, thank you. Whether it be positive or negative, it, it just strive to make us do better. But when you are listening to me, uh, we are about creating solutions and get to a point of where we can ask each other in this group, what is our purpose? What are we striving to? We, 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 we had some shows prior talking about leaving the party and you know here we're coming up on primaries i think it starts about in june and you know, people need to start asking the question now what is their purpose what is my purpose what do i have to get back besides just running to a voting poll the candidates should be asking what is my purpose what am i doing what i'm going to if i get in office or even my purpose for running, what am I going to give back to my community? Because innately, they have to go out and ask the public for our opinion. Which meaning that if you're asking for my opinion and, and asking me to do something for you, then you're going to ask me to, as far as the voting process, you're going to ask me for my vote. And you know, as we talk about in law, then it's a P the quid pro quo, something for something, right? As we talk about something for something, that means if I'm going to do this for you, what are you going to do for me? That's just how that goes. That's that aspects of nature. That's it. 
That's the aspect of the matrix. Some something for something. I'm mean, with with we're, we're trading. Yeah, you know, we can we can correlate the exist to uh, to get along here and there, but overall, you somebody's going to be asking for something. Even though on, on our platform, yeah, we we do for each other because we are correlated as a group, and we're doing something for one another innately. But there's still that quid pro quo still is going on. Speed, you're my co-host. I'm giving you the position to be my co-host. I'm the host, so we're giving your time. We're pull, you know, we're, we're pretty quid, quid pro quo. So we're, we're pulling back and forth between the two. We're doing something for something. So we have to remember our aspect of what is the purpose of what we're supposed to be doing for our society and for our culture. We can't get lackadaisical and we can't use the old cliche or it is what it is and everything is everything because we know that it is what it is ain't working and everything and everything ain't <laughs> everything. So we have to be mindful of that, ladies and gentlemen, and be well equipped in moving in this society as we go through the year. You know, we still in the we are in the second week now. Mr. Yep. of yep. this year. We're in the second time, week of look, 2022. Is yeah, yeah, time is it's not, it's not even stopping. Cool, yeah, next thing you know, we look up, we'll be in the spring and then we'll be right back into summer again. January and time, already. Yeah. And time, you know, this month will be, you blink and we'll be in February. <laughs> so. That's that's why we cannot, we cannot waste time. I always tell people, listen, number one, I don't have time to waste your time. <laughs> and so we cannot waste each other's time. It, it, it's just that simple. We must know that we're in a struggle. We must know that we're in a fight. And we fight this, this battle on a three-point front. And that's economically. That's uh, educationally. And that's politically. See, we're, we're in the land. I mean, we better start using these... Uh, weapons that we have, political mm -hmm. leverage, yep. uh, educational leverage, and economic leverage. Here it is. Listen, once we come together on this economic level, because uh, the, the black group has the most economic uh, 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 power of any other group. Listen, just look at the money that we spend. Yeah. <laughs> it, it, it's, 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 it's enormous. It is. Just think if we took up that more the money that we spent, it's, look, I, 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 I lavish on cologne. I, I, I love cologne. <laughs> you know, I, I spend money on cologne. You think mm -hmm. if we all, people like me, took all that money from cologne and put it into a pot to, to, to bring about a call, money answers all. The Bible says money answers all. See? She had, now, look, now, repeat that again, Miss P. Money answers all. No, no. Whether we can, you know, tug a war back and forth between fable and truth in the Bible, right? Mm -hmm. We know one truth is what you just stated. <laughs> yeah, most definitely. Now, they, they say, and you have some ignorant uh, person, I ain't going to get too crazy today. Mm -hmm. You have some ignorant person to come along and not understanding in reference to what the scripture is saying in the Bible, saying yeah. that money is the root to all evil. The lust of money. The root of all evil. Right. That's what they miss. Yeah. They don't know the correct part that we live in a society where money, you have to have money to do things. You, you have to. It's just that simple. <laughs> I mean, let's not be silly with this. Seriously. I mean, let's, let's be candid and be upfront and not say it is what it is and not get it. That's, that's the miseducation about our people. We, 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 we have listened to so many people who were less educated in the process of it and didn't tell the truth about reference to money, right? We know that money drives you to surviving in this society. Oh, absolutely. 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 So, and money's been used way before our time and way before any other body's time. Grandparents, great grandparents, and they were using forms of money. The first term was called mercantilism. Still form of money. It may not be the money we use today, but they were still 
bartering and trading with something. Barter, bartering, yeah, that's, that's that word. And that's bartering. still, that was still, that was still, that was economics, right? So what, what's, where's the root of the evil to that? Now you've lost it up and, and thriving to, to steal it from someone or remove it from someone, then that's the evil part of it. They have to be, I gotta be great because I gotta go take it from someone. Well, that's the thing. Money can be used for evil or can be used for good. Right. Unfortunately, you know, uh, it is used for evil to, to yeah. bring about uh, benefits to those that uh, want to control everything mm-hmm. in that nature. But the beauty of money is, is it, it is supposed to uh, bring equity and equality to yeah. everyone. To everyone. Which is what we're missing. That's what we're missing. Now, now. In the studies that I've studied in the past, when I speak, they said that our ancestors, at one point, everyone had what they needed in society. There was no point of these isms or these um, that was formulated capitalism, uh, totalitarianism, and all these isms that come across. That there was no point of that until someone sat down and came along and said, "Well, the." socialism so all this stuff like that there was no point of that it wasn't needed until we got into the until western civilization came into play and they correlated this um, term called capitalism i mean that we're in capitalism people need we need to understand that that the capital is is the purpose to a means of surviving and if we're looking for our people to survive we have to correlate and connect and push this thing together so we can be able to capitalize off of our survival. Uh, again, we're talking about what is my purpose between life and death. Or even you can connect to being killed. Whether it be you being uh, hunted, or as Minister Peace stated, and you're being <laughs> prosecuted. Persecuted, yeah. Persecuted or prosecuted, either or, <laughs> either, <laughs> one, either or the two. <laughs> and this is either of the two. But <laughs> as you being that, as it may, looking at those aspects, we're living life to have a purpose before we get to the point of death. Because there's there be, as the, if there be a beginning, we surely has an end, have an end to where we're going, and that going is leading to death. But again, what is my purpose? It fits right in between the two. It fits right in between that. The time that they record, you know, being this new fancy way of um, reporting that you live on Earth, putting your picture on this that they call an obituary, and then giving you sunrise, sunset. You know, we, we and, and it has, a, of course, it has a meaning, has an analogy for as far as visually to show someone. Um, but the purpose of that is to say, okay, well, this person was born at this point in time. And then questions should be asked that if there is to be a funeral or a memorial service, it should be, what was his purpose? What was well, her let, let, purpose? Let, let me use that analogy that you brought up, which was a great one. Mm-hmm. Um, they, they say sunrise, that's your date of birth. Mm-hmm. Then there is the sunset that's your date of departure out of here uh, into the eternity but if you notice those two dates there's a dash in between mm-hmm. and so the question comes up as many ministers have, have have preached this before what are you doing or what did you do with your dash mm. and that's basically what we have here what are you doing with that dash, that life in between your birth and then your uh, exit from this earth? What are you doing with the dash? What is my purpose? What is my dash? Yeah, that's true. What what is what is my dash? What is my purpose? Um, mothers, fathers, children, uncles, daughters, um, even older, elder grandparents <laughs> should say, yeah. "What was my purpose?" If they get to a point of say, "Well, you know, I'm, I'm ninety, I'm hundred, and uh, <laughs> you know, I've done all I can do." <laughs> but, but you haven't. You have done all you can do when you when you leave this land. 
that's true. You leave this earth. That's when that you have true. all you can do. Because listen, even when you are 100, and, I, I was looking at the news the other day, Dr. K, uh, a, a, a veteran was 112 years old. He passed away. Mm-hmm. 112 years old. Wow. That was the longest living um, uh, veteran. But during those years, of 112 years, you know, mm-hmm. even till, till the last moment, he can still be productive. He can still give a word. He can yep. still uh, do a text or he can still say something that would benefit somebody's life. Right, right. right. So you still have words. purpose. Yeah, you purpose. still have purpose. You still have purpose, people. We still have purpose until we take our last breath, that dash in between uh, giving us that purposeful meaning to what am I you know, not not saying the, the, the Kennedy aspect of what he said. That I don't really live by that. What can I do for my country? I said, no, what can the country do for me? Because uh, we, we've we given enough for our country. And we haven't been given due process in return. So I, I'm looking to say, well, well, what is my purpose first? And what can I do for my culture? In reference to who I'm innately related to. And then what then at some point I maybe can say, well, my, since I am in this country, what can my, I offer my country? What can, what aspect of what can I do to make society better? And then that's, and that's overall what we are here for, how to make society better. Uh, it shouldn't be one form of a group telling us, well, no, you got to make society better by doing this one thing. And so no, again, that takes away from the thought process of you thinking. You know, I have to. I have a brain for a purpose. There's a purpose for my brain. If I'm showed Absolutely. something at one point, then I should be taught. I should be in, innately. We should be taught. We should be a code of kind of us taught to do something for ourselves and being doing something for ourselves instead of waiting on someone to do something for us. And so that leads back to what is my purpose. Of what am I doing for myself? What am I doing to drive my, whether it be culture, whether it be community, or whether it be my culture, my ethnicity of that I'm being chosen to be a part of? It's not by accident that I'm put here with this tone of skin color. That's not by accident, ladies and gentlemen. Not, not on purpose. There's a reason that I'm here. There's a reason that we all are here. And it's not to waste time. As they say, time is money. <laughs> is <it not? laughs> I was going to say over an essence. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what it is? You say, you, you, you say it, Minister, but you said it perfectly. It's not, you're not about wasting time because time is time. Some, to some people, time is money. Yeah. You know, they, you money. standing there, you wasting their time, just, you know, babbling, babbling, babbling. And, and the guy, he, a lady or, or yeah. man, they sitting there, okay, hey, uh, Listen, I got something I, to do. Yeah, I don't, Dr. K, I don't have time for that. Like I said before, I don't have time to waste your time. And that's the signal. You, you don't have time to waste mine. But I just want to uh, motivate each and every one of our brothers and sisters, our listeners and our viewers, to understand, to, to know your purpose in these three areas. Political, politics, get involved in that. Start understanding you have a purpose there. Uh, education. Get involved with your education. If you're in school, stay in school. Those that are are, are not get involved with education. And yeah, then, get involved with some point of education. Yeah, yeah. And then the third front, brothers and sisters, viewers and friends, is ec- uh, e- economically. We must understand the power of the money that we have. Okay, you always brought it up. Uh, economic money brings you to the what? The table. <laughs> It does. I mean, let's be clear. You, when you got the money, you can make things move. <laughs> Literally, make a mountain move if need be, because you can just have explode it out the way. So, if you got the money, things things will move in a direction of constructive results. Yeah. yeah. And 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 without saying, and speaking of money, um, you know, one like like our video. If you choose to uh, seeing us on YouTube. Um, that is uh, K T W K T S E Radio TV dash TV on YouTube, and then of course uh, 
uh, we'll be coming actually coming soon with uh, our website where you can hear us uh, hear us live when we view live and be able to go there and and partake in some of the uh, repeat that one more time that's it. Uh, that's uh, YouTube on YouTube is WKTSE-TV is our YouTube channel that will be our YouTube if you want to see if you want to view us on uh, some of our uh, I usually I seldomly go live, uh, but I will be going live soon. But I, if you want to view some of our past videos, and if you would like to donate to uh, keep us thriving and see us in our viewership and to view so my other platforms can be viewed as well. Uh, of course, that takes uh, additional equipment, and of course, we're we're spending. Anybody that has donated that that money is greatly appreciated, and we definitely that has helped us stay on and help us better our uh, visual equipment, help us better our sound equipment. For the most part, it, it, it really has helped. And I thank, greatly appreciate that for those donations. And please continue to donate because it, it does help us. Uh, for, for our listeners, uh, our cash app is KTSE Media. And for those who are viewing, you can see it uh, across the screen there. If you want to donate and uh, please like and share uh, mainly share because again it's about educating our, our our people our community this is our form of media this is our two five seven and nine this is our uh, cnn uh, we we don't have a lot of the news right on hand 24 7 because we don't have the manpower to do that type of uh, researching but uh, we try to keep abreast of what's going on and, and we give opinionated topics and we also give um, real um, aspect of opinions and a real aspect of life opinions and, solution. and, and solutions. solutions. That's our main goal on this platform is to gain right. and get towards solutions that where we can have constructive results in, in anything that we're talking about. Uh, we have to have constructive results in today's society because if we don't, um, we, we will perish, <laughs> as they say. That, that term in the Bible is perishing. From a lack, lack of knowledge. Yeah, you, you will perish. You will go beneath the, the scale of, of, of existing if you don't understand that, that term that's in the Bible. Not saying you have to live by the aspect of you can belong to any type of form of religion that you want to, but understanding those terms that pass through in the Bible, some of them terms have meaning. Some of those things have meaning, and they and they play as long in life. They're their life uh, aspects that are to live by, whether you believe it in or believe in it or not. Uh, they still have a, a forthcoming saying in reference to how you move in society. And, and so, I, I I definitely want to uh, thank everyone has, that has been tuning tuning in to us uh, going into coming into the new year, and and again share like and that way we can move forward and donate that way we can move forward to get to the point where we can maybe have start having callers get their opinion uh, on some of our topics because yeah. we do want to hear the public uh, we want to start our live session on youtube as well that way we can get uh, a formulated group process on what people are and what people have to say of course you're gonna have some people to possibly troll and get in there and start saying crazy things and you know oh well uh, what if you know this that and the third and we ain't got this and we ain't got that because there's a lot of people you know you got a lot of our people say that racism and white supremacy is, doesn't exist and then until they're confronted with it you know that's the problem that i have our people tend to block that out for the most part we've been taught to block that out not saying that you well, have to negatively deal with it on a, uh, as reference, reference to it negatively coming to you, but you have to know, have a solution for that. Absolutely, Dr. K, our job is to bring the truth, and that's it. Yeah. Bring the truth. Yeah, we definitely have to bring truth. Definitely have to bring truth. Um, there's no point in lying on this platform and trying to lie about anything. Uh, because we've been, for the most part, someone has lied to us for most of our lives. Because um, at least I know, and I don't, I don't innately know where I truly come from. All I know is that uh, I can only go back so far as reference to where my ancestors 
that thrived in this, what they call America. They have walked this land only. So I have no Africa to go back to because I don't know what tribe I belong to in Africa. So uh, not saying that I don't want to find out and don't want to go back and visit, but uh, I can't off the top of my head say that I come from Nigeria or Botswana or any other <laughs> African name. Well, Dr. K, I, I put it like this. Listen, I go back 64 years. Okay, and so I, I woke up in the hospital, came out, and lived the life. I started looking around in my, uh, my society and started understanding that there were certain things that weren't equal. There were certain things that, that uh, equity wasn't abounding in our community. And I started looking at that, and then I started trying to find solutions uh, uh, for that. So uh, then I did start understanding the history of this country. But we have to go back to when we woke up yep. and came out of that hospital and started understanding and seeing society. And that's why we've become enlightened and want to uh, stop the persecution, uh, yep. uh, stop the inequity and inequality. And that's what this is all about. You, yep. Your purpose in life is to bring a greater purpose and life to our community. That's it. Yep, you have to bring greater purpose, ladies and gentlemen. We have to, especially in this time, and we in uh, 2022, and we have to bring great purpose. That way, from 2022, if we are survivals of this process that we're in, we can look back on this, or it can be brought up on a recording and say, well, man, he was talking about a purpose back in 22. So what are we doing in 20, 21, 22, that far out, even though most of us have either passed on by that time. That's a long time. That's a long time. 21, 22 minutes. How many years is that from now? Come on, man. <laughs> That's a century, isn't it? I, yeah, I'm thinking too far ahead. <laughs> yeah, man. That's way too far ahead. That puts listen, me past 100. Hey, look, if you were alive then, I'm going to know something. You say something is something. Ain't right. <laughs> You've been jabbing us, man. Yeah, I've, then I can say I've truly been playing the game, everybody. <laughs> I'm still around. <laughs> but hey, ladies and gentlemen, that has been our time. Uh, you know, I always enjoy being on this platform. Uh, it's 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 comfortable to be talking to our people and giving solutions. And, and again, uh, it's not about the viewership or listenership, whether I got one person listening or a uh, hundred thousand uh, out of that hundred thousand or out of that one, as long as they adhere to what was said and gain knowledge from that and was able to take that information and utilize it well and put some meaning behind it. Uh, and give it to someone else. And give it right. And what is what is your purpose? You know that that should be the question for the rest of the year and the years to come. Live and give, live and give. Live and give. So giving is what is my purpose. Yeah. And be sure to tune into Love at Work Ministries tomorrow morning around this time, I believe. Well, he'll be wrapping up around this time, but he, <laughs> eight a.m. to nine a.m. Love at Work Ministries. Please tune in to our brother, Minister P, at Love at Work Ministries. That way he can give you the word of the spiritual word of God. And I believe his topic is, uh, he's on his series still. I'm on a prayer. series of the power of productive prayer. Too what number are you on? Minister P, what this, number are you on? This is number five. Number five. All right. So he's on number five for a productive series of prayer. Be sure to tune in tomorrow morning at 8 a.m. And if you don't catch him live or miss some of the message because you woke up a little late, um, <laughs> that, that message on Sunday will be aired again at 10 a.m. And if you miss it at 10 a.m., it'll be aired again Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays at 8 a.m. Uh, and so you can so you don't be able to so you can get that good word and don't miss it so he's he's being aired people so just uh, so you can catch him 
So if you don't catch him live, because he may say something live that you might want to hear right then and there. It might be for you at that point. So you may not want to wait until Wednesday <laughs> or Friday to catch it. <laughs> so, so um, but then tune in to us uh, on Saturdays at 8 a.m. to 9 a.m. on Saturday mornings. Yes. Try to be live and come to you as much as I can allow permitting things happening and whatever going on construction this that and third but we're gonna we do our best to come to you live the best we can and uh, we, we we're, we're definitely looking we're, we're begging and pleading that our sister come back jay reese uh, she's been off for some time jay she, reese? She, yeah she's <laughs> she's had some stuff going on personally uh, but we we're, we're definitely hoping that she comes back soon and join us on this platform again. And you may see some other new faces uh, appearing here and there, uh, but definitely uh, if you can catch, you can catch her show on replay as well, uh, with a fresh air show. Um, she re-airs uh, on Tuesdays and Thursdays at uh, 9 a.m. in the morning. And she re she, yeah, she has a re re replay on Thursdays, but she's live on air on Thursdays at 8 p.m. to 9 p.m when she's uh, airing live, so you can catch her then when she does come back. But for right now, you can hear some of her uh, past shows um, on Tuesdays and Thursdays at 8 a.m. But yeah, we've um, went past that time. I hope the station don't uh, <laughs> get on our back. <laughs> but <laughs> we've been on here quite a minute, but we're gonna get off this air and because we have things to do it's supposed to warm up today a little bit. I believe the high is supposed to be 30 to 35, if I'm not mistaken. And hopefully we can get some, uh, get back outside just for a little bit. Uh, get from this negative cold wind chill that we've been receiving. Be careful, it's going to rain uh, at 12 o'clock. So it's going to be that sleet type of Oh, rain. yeah. Step on the roads. Yes. If you're out there, if you have to be out, definitely be careful. Take your time. What's the use of rushing? <laughs> Because if you need to get there and have an accident, then it doesn't make any sense to be <laughs> moving that fast anyway. If you got to get into an accident to get there. Right. So take, ladies and gentlemen, take your time out there driving. That's been our time. So we're going to walk up out of here and leave you with uh, what is my purpose? What is my purpose? Right. I will see you all next week. <laughs>